Hey YouTubers, welcome back to Small Engines Questions and Answers, video number 52. This week will mark a year that I've been doing the Small Engines Questions and Answers and I want to thank all my subscribers and those who regularly watch. And you're the reason why I've kept doing it. And to thank you guys, I'm giving away four spark plug gap tools. Make sure you watch the video to the end and I'll show you guys how you can win one of these. It's just a simple spark plug gap tool like this and it's got standard and metric sizes on it. Now I'll get started with the Q&A for this week. First question is a YouTuber is asking me, how would you repair a small crack on the crankcase of a chainsaw where it could be leaking a bit of oil? What I use is JB Weld or epoxy glue. And to give you an example, there was a small crack here in the crankcase of this 288 Husqvarna chainsaw and I just put JB Weld there to cover the crack. I've even seen guys repair cracks right in the crankcase or in the oil tank here and it does do a good job. You got to make sure that the prep work is done really good before you put the JB Weld or epoxy glue. You should always sand the area with some emery paper, clean it up really good, make sure there's no oil or grease, and that should do the trick. If it's a major crack or break, then you may have to replace the whole part. And if it's a gasket that's leaking, you're probably better off to just replace the gasket. But the JB Well sometimes can be a permanent fix, or it can just get you out of a jam until you have time to work on your chainsaw. Next question is regarding this Toro lawnmower. Some of you guys saw it in my last video where I showed all the lawnmowers I bought for $20 each. Well, somebody asked me, what's this for? What that is for is to hook up your garden hose so that you can wash the deck. It says quick wash on it, so you would put the hose, screw it in, and then turn on the water tap, and the water would flow underneath the mower and clean the deck for you. It's got a nozzle under the deck here, and when you turn the water on, that would spray and clean the deck for you. Some people prefer that over the option of having to flip the mower over manually and try to spray it like that. And some people prefer the older method, just flip the mower over and spray it with your hose. And by the way, I did get the electric starter fixed on this mower. The starter was just simply jammed and I charged the battery and it works. If you get the same problem where your starter won't turn but you can hear a small click, take the starter apart because sometimes moisture gets in there and it seizes up the parts inside the starter. So all I did is took it apart, unseized it, and I didn't have to buy any new parts. My next question comes from a YouTuber from Malta. The question he's asking me is how come all the lawnmowers you show in your videos have the pull cord halfway up the handlebars? And here's a good example here, the cord's halfway up like that. The reason why we have the pull cord halfway or three quarters up the handlebars is for convenience. In North America here and other parts of the world, there's always a safety lever on your lawnmower, so you do have to depress that and then pull the cord. The lawnmower will not start if you're not holding down the safety lever. The reason why we have the pull cord up here is because it would be impossible if you had to hold this down and then reach down to the motor if the cord was retracted right down to the engine. So by having the cord here, it's simple. One hand holds the safety lever and the other hand pulls on the cord. And it's the same idea on all these other lawnmowers here. And some of the Honda lawnmowers, HR214, have an engine like this and a clutch on the engine and they don't have a safety lever like that so you would have to reach down to the engine and start it right from here. On these Honda lawnmowers, the cord will not be up the handlebars. Some YouTubers have also asked me when you look at a lawnmower, how can I tell if the crankshaft is bent? Well, when you turn it over, take a good look at the shaft here and if you see it move this way back and forth, you know the shaft is bent. On this mower here, the shaft is bent and take a good look at when I spin the blade. You can see that it's not even. So what that does is it causes excessive vibration and in this mower what's happened is that the motor mounts have all broken off and cracked. I started it the other day and the thing vibrated so badly I had to stop it. So when you're looking at buying a used mower, flip it over, turn the blade and make sure that the shaft is nice and straight when you turn the blade. Before you do this though, make sure to disconnect the spark plug for safety. Alright, so I'm done with the Q&A for today. Now I'm going to tell you how you can win one of these spark plug gap tools. All you have to do is comment under this video that you want to be entered into the draw. Now to be eligible to win one of these, you have to be a subscriber of Boy 73 my channel. And also by commenting under this video, you give me permission that when I do the draw to give out your YouTube name to say that you won one of the tools. 
and I'll be announcing the winners in next week's Small Engines questions and answers. And I will notify you and I will give you a week to respond back to send me your address and I will mail it to you free of charge. So it's pretty easy. All you have to do is comment under this video to say you want to be entered into the draw and you have to be a subscriber to my channel. I plan on giving out stuff on a more regular basis, so if you have any ideas of tools or little things that you guys would like, let me know. I specifically picked the spark plug gap tools because they're easy to mail. It won't cost me a lot of money to mail it even if I have to mail it overseas. So if I see you guys want something in particular, then I'll gear my giveaways toward you guys. I wish I had more of these to give out today, but I can only give out so many. But I do want to thank everybody for their support, and maybe next time you'll win one of my giveaways. So again, I want to thank you guys, and we'll see you next week, and have a great weekend.